Hey what's up guys, it's Kazooie here and welcome to a new series on my channel which is called the Top 10 where I'm going to be covering all my favorite 5 star skillers that have been in FIFA 11, FIFA 12, FIFA 13 and FIFA 14 so um, this time we're going to be covering my favorite non-rare 5 star skillers next week you can expect a Top 10 Silver, Gold and also Inform 5 star skiller so hopefully you guys are looking forward to that but um, let's start off with number 10 which is a player from FIFA 12 called Guerrero and I think he's the only non-rare Silver 5 star skiller that has ever been in FIFA and uh, this guy was actually from Ecuador and as you can see his rating isn't really the best only 67 but this guy was very very fun to play with um, he was in the odd league though he was in the second league of Spain called the Liga Adelante playing for Villarreal B which is the second uh, second team of Villarreal and I don't think that you guys are familiar with him but if you are let me know in the comments down below because I used this guy a lot on Ultimate Team and I really really do liked him even though his stats weren't really the best. So he's going to be my number 10 non-rare 5-star skiller. Then uh, we're going to move on to number 9. That is Carlos Alberto from FIFA 11. Unfortunately, he is not in Ultimate Team this year. Because he's playing for a team that is not in Ultimate Team. And he won't be in FIFA 15 as well. Since EA decided to remove the Liga de Brazil. Which is such a shame. Because this guy was so fun to play with back in the day. He was actually on FIFA 11, FIFA 12 and also FIFA 13. So um, he was pretty much in all the Ultimate Teams. Except uh, FIFA 14. Which is just a shame. Because I I love this guy on Ultimate Team. He was very, very fun to play with. And as you can see, 88 dribbling for a 77 rated player. A non-rare as well. It's just really, really good. So um, he's going to be my number 9. Then number 8 is going to be Elkison from FIFA 12. And uh, this guy actually had an upgraded version as well, which was a rare card. And he was actually a striker instead. And his non-rare card is a center attacking mid. And that is actually the one that I prefer the most uh, for some reason. Uh, it's a little bit weird. Even though his rare card had uh, better stats, I guess, I prefer this non-rare version. And um, I actually didn't use him as a center attacking mid from what I can remember. I usually used him as a center mid actually in the 4-5-1 formation which is maybe a little bit weird but um, he did a job for me and also his 73 shooting which was an absolute lie because it felt way above the 80s. I scored so many long shots with him so um, he's going to be my number 8 and I'm going to move on to number 7 and that's the only non-rare 5 star skiller this year in FIFA 14 that is going to be Moreno. He has two versions. One plays for Milanarios FC in the, in the Colombia League which is a center forward and the other one is on your screen right now plays for Tijuana in the Mexican League and I actually prefer this one uh, way above the other one simply because it is a striker and plays in a better league to link up with other 5 star skillers such as Mike Liete and Fidel Martinez so uh, Moreno is going to be my number 7 on this list then we're going to move on to number 6 that is going to be another player from FIFA 11 called Dagoberto a right forward 75 rated with 83 pace 84 dribbling and 73 shooting which was just an absolute lie those stats felt way higher especially his pace and his shooting his shooting was seriously insane I scored so many long shots with this guy even though uh, long shots on FIFA 11 were pretty easy I scored a lot of good goals with him and also his pace just felt way higher maybe even 90 or something so um, yeah Dagoberto is going to be my number six then we're going to move on to number five Diego Souza and this guy just look at his stats I mean they're all above the 70s even his defending and that's for a center attacking mid with five star skin moves that is non rare that is just perfect seriously it's perfect this guy was amazing um, he also had an uh, inform I do believe on FIFA 11 played for uh, Vasco da Gama I think which was his transfer card um, he was also really really good I used him a lot too but I most, uh, most of the time used his non-rare card which was just absolutely amazing and yeah he just seriously needs to be in my top 5 and non-rare 5 star skill as ever so um, he's going to be my number 5 then number 4 we do have the FIFA 12 version of Ben Arfa which in my opinion was the best that has ever been on Ultimate Team uh, you have his FIFA 14 version which is pretty much the same I guess is also a 79 rated his FIFA 13 version was actually a higher rated from what I can remember I think he was 81 rated or something and also had better stats of course but for some reason I just prefer this FIFA 12 version just way above all the other ones uh, even though it's uh, I think FIFA 14 is kind of pretty much the exact same at least his rating is the same and also most of his stats I guess but still, his FIFA 12, he, he was just absolutely amazing. And I used him in so many squads. Um, I will leave a link to a really, really cool goal I scored with him on a FIFA 12 in the description down below. It's on my second channel, so definitely check out if you like to. So um, Ben Arthur is my number four. Then number three on this list is Fred in FIFA 11. Yes, he was at the World Cup and he was absolutely terrible with his, uh, with his pedo stash from what I can remember. But seriously, this guy... 
absolutely insane. He actually had five star skin wins on FIFA 11, which was the only year he actually had five star skin wins, which was a big shame because he was just absolutely insane on FIFA 11. I used him so much, scored so many goals with him, and I think he even had an inform as well at one point, which was also just really, really good. But um, yeah, this version, I, I scored so many goals with him. I think over 200 maybe. I just can't start enough how good he was and how much I used him. So um, he's going to be my number three. And then number two, I think most of you guys have used this guy. That is going to be Mike Osell in FIFA 12. He was seriously overpowered. I think you can compare him to Draxler because his shooting was absolutely insane as well. It was 69 and maybe it was a little bit of a troll from EA to, uh, to make it 69 because... He scored so many good goals for me, so many skill goals, and I mean, he is seriously one of my all-time favorite five-star skillers I've ever played with. So um, yeah, it would have been absolutely insane if he had five-star skills on FIFA 14 because um, he's actually this year a silver. I think he was last year as well, but this year he's a silver, 74 rated, plays for Udinese in the Serie A. Would have been absolutely amazing, but unfortunately, he has four-star skill moves. So we're gonna move on to the number one spot, and the number one spot is probably my favorite five-star skiller of all time. That is gonna be. Rafael Sobis and he is the only player I've ever done a video of with just goals from him only uh, that video will be in the description down below it was on FIFA 12 you might have seen it it's called the best of Rafael Sobis definitely check it out if you are interested but this guy is seriously absolutely insane he had five star skills I think on FIFA 10 FIFA 11 FIFA 12 and FIFA 13 and guess what guess how many skills he has on FIFA 14 Yes, he has four star skill moves. I just don't understand why EA keep downgrading five star skillers for no reason. They never explain why they do it. Even though a player had five star skill moves on FIFA 11, FIFA 12, FIFA 13, and on FIFA 14, you know what? We're just gonna downgrade him for no reason. And that seriously happens every single year. I just wish they just explained it why they actually downgrade five star skillers, but they never do that. It's so annoying. But um, anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. It would be very much appreciated. And if you can hit 1,000 likes, that would be absolutely awesome. Remember, the top 10 silver, gold, and inform 5-star skillers will be up next week. So definitely keep an eye out on that. But um, anyway, guys, that is going to be the end. I would like to thank you guys very much for watching. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.